This week was a great week. We did all of our maxes. I think everybody was presently surprised with um, some of the improvement they made. And even though some of you that may not have improved or may have had a bad day, remember a lot of times it's how we respond to those adversarial days, those days that we just don't do as good as we do. A lot of people will just throw their hands up and quit, say this just ain't for me, I just can't do it anymore. But I think the mark of a true warrior, true athlete is going to go ahead and take those uh, challenges and come back bigger and stronger next time. This week, uh, Sparta saw and said goodbye to uh, Grizzly. Grizzly's moving to Orlando. We're going to miss that boy. And I'm sure he'll come back uh, stronger, faster, and give everybody a run for his money. Good luck, Grizzly. Geek is not with me today. Um, she had some problems with, um, we had another dog in the school and uh, the other dog tried to touch her belt. So I got a picture of what happened after that. Crossfight makeup testing was amazing. Uh, a lot of hard work for a lot of people. I appreciate the people that came out and helped out. Um, a special thanks to Master Jessica again, um, coordinated and kept a great pace and had to put up with me with the uh, never good enough philosophy. As um, far as I'm concerned, it'll never be good enough. It'll always be better next time. Thank you again, Mel. And congratulations to everybody who um, worked so hard and hopefully um, they'll make sure to make the regular test the next time. As far as this next week of training, just bring it. Just every single day, be there. Work as hard as you can. Don't worry about the perfect technique. Don't worry about being the expert athlete. Uh, you know, be the best that you can be. Work the hardest that you can do. Um, the perfect technique is always fleeting. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go every day and enjoy what you're doing. Work as hard as you can and every day know that you're just getting a little bit better. Look at all your friends, what they're doing. Most of them are either too busy, saying they don't have time, they need to get in shape to work out, or are working out to win the gold medal. You know, that's all their competition level is. It's not really about helping other people, or it's not about helping other people or caring about other people being in better physical condition. So think about that. This next week, don't only really worry about how you're working out, but take one second, one day, to pat somebody else on the back. Help somebody else put their equipment together. Help somebody else um, get through their workout. Um, people like Eric Conzi always seem to find some satisfaction for doing that. Um, never heard Eric Conzi talk about his PR. Uh, as far as all the people that have uh, left and moved on to someplace else, I wish you the best. I guess there's a spot in my heart that I wish that uh, if one thing Sparta did for you was teach you to stand up for yourself and to be strong and uh, face a man or woman face to face and say, thank you for what you've done, but I've moved on, is all I've ever asked for. So again, um, I go on here to say good luck to all of you. I hope you're happy where you're at. And um, Sparta, we'll keep rolling along. That's it. Long live Sparta. A motivational video last week, so I got another one for you this week. 
dismissed from drama school with a note that read, wasting her time, she's too shy to put her best foot forward. Turned down by the Decca recording company who said, we don't like their sound and guitar music is on the way out. A failed soldier, farmer, and real estate agent. At 38 years old, he went to work for his father as a handyman. Cut from the high school basketball team, he went home, locked himself in his room, and cried. A teacher told him he was too stupid to learn anything, and he should go into a field where he might succeed by virtue of his pleasant personality. Fired from a newspaper because he lacked imagination and had no original ideas. His fiance died, he failed in business twice, he had a nervous breakdown, and he was defeated in eight elections. If you've never failed, you've never lived.